the volume and weight of trees is crucial information as a measurement baseline when trees are sold. Once the trees are harvested, they're loaded onto a truck and hauled to a mill where they're scaled. Historically, the volume of pulpwood was measured in cords. A standard cord equals 128 cubic feet and is defined as the volume of wood found in a stack of wood that is 4 feet high by 4 feet wide and 8 feet long. Saw timber volume was historically measured in board feet. A board foot is defined as a board or plank measuring 1 inch thick by 1 foot wide by 1 foot long. This measurement is based on the nominal dimensions of rough green boards that can be sawn from the logs before shrinkage from drying and planing. Today, most pulp wood and saw timber is purchased by weight. Here, a loaded truck is weighed when it arrives at the mill and re-weighed once it's been unloaded. The difference in the gross and tear weights is then converted to tons to yield the total weight of the wood delivered. While mill scales are the ultimate measure of the volume of timber growing on an acre of land, foresters must be able to estimate how much timber is growing on the stump in order to make sound management decisions. As a result, tables and formulas have been developed to estimate either the volume or weight of trees growing in a stand. Log rules with tables and formulas have been developed for saw timber to estimate the amount of lumber that can be sawn from standing trees. Log rules commonly used in the southeast are Doyle, Scribner, and International Quarter Inch. When mills began to purchase timber based on weight, foresters recognized the need to develop similar weight tables. Today, a variety of product and species-specific weight tables are available for use by foresters. Both volume and weight tables utilize tree diameter and height as two key factors. For saw timber, the shape of the tree is also important. Form class is the classification of trees or logs based on their taper. Crown class is another important factor that classifies a tree based on how that tree's crown compares to other trees in the same stand. Four crown classes include dominant, codominant, intermediate, and suppressed. A forest inventory provides information about the types of trees and their sizes on a given property and provides information needed to make important management decisions.